Why are some classes more male dominant and others are filled by more females? That's the focus of this year's Spotlight at Park Hill High School. We're here with Principal Dr. Brad Kinschlow and Brad's STEM, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math STEM classes, um, are some of the classes that are maybe more differentiated by genders. That's true. Um, and we have as one of our foci to make sure that we address that uh, gender gap in classes and see if we can make those more equitable. Um, STEM is important in preparing students for college and for careers after they finish. Uh, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, great professions, great areas to study. We want to make sure that males and females have a great chance to chance. Well, let's take a look at some of these classes at Park Hill High School and see how they benefit all students as we spotlight Park Hill High School. I teach Biology 2 and AP Biology and I see more females in my classes than males. In my science classes, I haven't felt like there's more guys than girls. Historically, it was probably a male-dominated discipline, but um, there were big pushes about 10, 15 years ago that started to get girls interested in STEM classes through Girl Scouts and some different organizations that I really feel like we're seeing the results of that and that we're seeing girls empowered to take whatever classes they want. I like that I can understand it because I usually don't, and then I can actually apply it and like explain it to my friends like when they need help. So, and because I also want to be a doctor, so that's probably why. I teach uh, all three, well, three of the computer science courses here at Park Hill. Um, and in the past, so this is my fifth year here, we seem to always have between about three to probably eight or so females, where eight's pretty rare, but usually it's three or four on average. Uh, and usually the courses themselves are probably uh, between 20 and and 30 kids. I'm in uh, computer science essentials and I uh, like the problem solving aspect of it of trying to think of uh, what code needs to make up the product that you're making. If you learn how to write code you can help anybody in any area of, of society. I hope obviously that it comes equal. I get a lot. With a wider interest we can do more things in here and so that's definitely the immediate goal with um, with getting the numbers up. This is Pro Start One, which is basically the basics of cooking. You learn how to start cooking and learn how to use all the utensils and measurements. I like most about it is basically when you cook the most, the labs we do, and then the food we eat is good because it's uh, fresh and we make it ourselves. So the employability skills that we're teaching in the course can apply to basically any career field that they are going to go into. So I've seen just a big push to where now my numbers are well over 50% male, whereas before it might have been, you know, maybe 30% or so. So the numbers have definitely gone up over the past few years. It's, it's a good class if you want to learn how to cook and eat good food, you can choose to take it because that's what most guys like is to eat good food. Yeah, so it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't gender. matter, no. It shouldn't matter about the gender, no. Just the diversity of the course is what makes it really fun. The males, females. Um, I have students of all different cultures also taking the course. And so it's nice for just, you know, everyone from all different backgrounds to, to join in and share experiences and learn together. 